question number 15. This is a very interesting question. Normally we have series of questions which are very mundane and repetitive and this question is taken from SVIPO held in 2013 and it's a very interesting question because we are given one expression only the elements are given the symbols are not filled there are five options or five series of symbols that are given as options you have to choose one of the options one of the series of the symbols given as option in such a manner that two conclusions are valid one of the conclusion is b is greater than n and the other is d is less than or equal to l these two conclusions must be true we have to choose a series of symbols which will fill in between b l o n d blown in such a manner that b is greater than n is true and d is less than or equal to l is true now as you may be knowing the word blown means it's a very, <laughs> uh, what should I say, blonde means a girl with yellow hair. And what is the opposite of a blonde? All of you must be knowing. If you don't know, just note it down. It is brunette. Brunette is a girl with thick black hair. A blonde is a girl with yellow hair. Here we have to fill up the uh, symbols in such a manner. Now let us verify, uh, let us see the working of this question. Uh, there are several ways in which uh, this problem can be solved. You can just fill up the symbols one by one and verify for yourself. And there are, they are all very time consuming. But I will tell you a yeah, simple technique by which you will be able to solve this very quickly and efficiently. Now what I have done is, the second, first conclusion, that is first conclusion, B is greater than N. Here is B, here is N. Therefore, this is in sync with the uh, statement. Therefore, there is no need for the changing the conclusion. On the other hand, where is D, where is L? D is here, L is here. And therefore, we have to rewrite the second conclusion so that it syncs with the statement. Now, when you rewrite, L is greater than or equal to D. Now, what we have to verify is, in this given statement, whether we have to fill the symbols in this blank in such a manner that these two conclusions are true. That is our job. Which of the following sets of symbols will fit in here? Which will give a Conclusion, B is greater than N and L is greater than or equal to D. Now, let us look at how to solve this very quickly and easily. Let us look at B and N. B is here, N is here. So, in the first three expression, you should definitely have greater than. Otherwise, it cannot become true. So, in the first three symbols, not expressions, in the first three symbols, you should definitely have greater than. Then only conclusion 1 will be true. In the same manner, in the last three symbols, greater than or equal to must come. Then only it is possible for us to have L is greater than or equal to D as a true conclusion. So what we have to verify? In the first three, whether greater than comes. That is what we have to verify. In the last three, whether greater than or equal to comes. This is what we have to verify. Now let us verify. So here is the first three statements. Is equal to, is equal to, greater than, is equal to. Greater than has not come. Therefore, B is greater than N can never come. Therefore, this is wrong. Let us go to the next option B. Greater than, greater than or equal to, is equal to has come. Therefore, greater than has come. B is greater than N. It can make it true. But for the second conclusion to be true, we should have greater than or is equal to. Greater than or is equal to is here. But 
look carefully you have got one more villain here this villain is greater than between these two which has got high priority the greater than has got higher priority than greater than or equal to therefore this expression this uh, this uh, conclusion will not be true while the first b is greater than n will be true the second conclusion l is greater than or equal to d will not be true therefore uh, uh, option b will not also be the correct answer now let us go to option c option c look at the options first itself you find a competing or opposing symbols if there is an opposing symbol you cannot have b is greater than n so this opposing symbol will straight away tell you that this option cannot be correct therefore you remove this now let us go to the option d what we should have in the first three we should have greater than symbol yes in the first three we have greater than symbol then second condition is in the last three we should have greater than or equal to symbol yes we have greater than or equal to symbol in between two is equal to we are filled with e is equal to which has less priority and therefore this expression is most likely to be the correct answer so let us park it here let us go to the next expression and verify now in the first three yes there is one greater than symbol is there and therefore the first conclusion is possible but in the last three there is greater than or equal to but again there is another villain greater than is equal to is there in between greater than and greater than equal to which will have priority this will have higher priority therefore l is greater than or is equal to d cannot be true it will become l is greater than d because of this therefore we have got only option d which will be the correct answer now let us check up we will fill up d b is greater than l is equal to o is equal to n is greater than or equal to d now what is the conclusion we have to verify b and n b and n what are the symbols greater than is equal to is equal to which is have top priority greater than has got top priority therefore b is greater than n is true let us go to the second conclusion l and d l is here d is here between l and d what are the symbols we have is equal to is equal to greater than and is equal to which is having top priority this is having top priority between the three singles therefore l is greater than or equal to d is also true so for this given expression with the symbols we have chosen the two conclusions are true therefore answer is option d it's a very interesting question asked in state bank of india po 2013 similar such questions more such questions are there you can try it out from some of the exam papers yourself now let us see the answer slide for this question the correct option for question number 15 is d now let us go to the next question